Hey guys, I'm Mark on Extreme, and welcome back to more stasis. Now we've been left with a gigantic pool of acid, acid raining down from the skies. Um, yeah, lots of lots of fun things going on here. Now we're kind of stuck. All I have is a glove and my PDT. I get the feeling, well, the only thing we can interact with is a metal grating. And I get a feeling we're not going to be able to break through this. Um, do the gloves aid us in any way? No. Do the, no. Okay. And there's acid which I don't particularly want to touch. What happens if I touch it with the gloves? Okay. Start. What the hell was that? Hazmat glove filled with. Oh, okay. Use that on the metal grating. Acid filled metal glove. Oh, yeah. I'm left with a melted glove. Sweet. That's it. You climb. Calm yourself. Panic and you won't make it. Focus. Breathe. Why is John suddenly the, the master of all things calm? Okay. Jesus. I'm in a storage locker. Oh. I don't think they saw me. Prosthetic arm. Okay, I've got prosthetic arm. Uh, power distribution. That was a hybrid. Corpses, human remains. Okay, if I'm messing with electricity, I'm saving before I do this. I'm not. I'm not messing up in any way, shape or form. Let's put. Let's use the glove with the power distribution. Crazy. Uh, would it be good to? What happens if I jam a meta prosthetic limb into there? Oh yeah. Uh, it's a good thing I saved, isn't it? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you save at every single opportunity you are given. Oh wait, hang on, I. Yeah, no, no, we're not doing any of this. I saved. That's better. Okay, so can I... What happens if I put... There we go. Right. A rubber-wrapped prosthetic arm makes more sense. I'm in the limb regeneration lab. Now I can connect them and do what I want without exploding. Uh, she's in a storage bay. Two floors up. I'm close. That's good to know. That's good to know. Put my data tag in the cogs. Well, I can't get out. Um. Can I use that there as well? Get a whole nine yards. Oh wait, can I? I can't. I don't. I don't know. There's lots of human remains. <laughs> Is there any way out? Whoa! <sighs> Sweet Jesus, what the hell, man? <sighs> this game needs to stop doing this crap to me, seriously. Pick up its guts, because apparently that'll do something. Oh come on, don't tell me she's dead as well. That's fine. Um, use. Maybe it adds more power. No. Okay, sling him in the cogs and see what happens.
I've done it. Go, go. Okay. This game is actually freaking me out a little bit now. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be as creepy as it is. But this is bloody creepy at times. Okay, there's a power, there's a power pad. Whoa, what? Dude. If you hurt her, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Some calm reading in the midst of all of this. From Jared Winslow. I try real hard not to think any less of Scotty, but I swear the boy ain't got a caring bone in his body. Plus, I bet he don't know that any of these big words that he uses me. He uses... He's always hinting that when we're back home, we can be partners in business. I got myself a job at a damn spaceship. Does he reckon I'd need any help getting a job? Back before the rapid transport system was running through the Green Lake, folks used to get around in these really slow transport pods. I found one, tucked behind a pile of storage crates. I've been working on it for a couple of months now. I reckon I can get it working. Scotty played an April Fool's joke on me, dumped some water on me while I was working on the pod. I accidentally cut him real bad with a wrench. Anyways, I'm going to play a little joke on him and set his favourite book on fire, but not today. Sometime when he won't expect it. Pod's coming along great. A couple more months and maybe I can test it out. My kid brother Judd would be so proud. He used to help me work on cars all the time. One time we was fixing the brakes in this old clunker when one of the jacks broke. I know he's in a better place now, but I still feel bad. I pray about it every day and I know that God knows that I didn't mean to do it. I promise to him that I'm trying to be I'm trying not to be so angry anymore. All finished. Had to get some parts printed with the nanite machine, but I'm sure Stefan didn't mind much. Can't wait to try it out. Scotty says the pod won't work and that I'll get into trouble for it. The hell does he think he is? I made sure it would work. I ain't stupid. It's just getting really hard to breathe and just pray it's getting really hard to breathe and just pray about stuff. People like Scotty God lets them live for some reason or other. Albert noticed some strange mushroom stuff growing all over engineering today. Guess we're going to have to get cleaning. Good news and bad news. We had to scrub the mama on laundry day, so the, jet, the kunk is just about gone. Bad news is, it's all over the damn place. Scotty's been really nice since I've learned that book of his. Scotty's nicer every day. The Bible said he'd change if I was nice to him, and look what happened. A little bit of bread goes a long way in the house of God. Damn, this ain't good. The ship's on level 7 lockdown. Looks like we're gonna get real familiar with one another down here. Fox must have gotten hu got mighty hungry. Screams are echoing everywhere. Scotty and me are gonna lock down engineering, shut down the baskets and close the umbilical bridge. Keep them away from the twins. It's Judd all over. I swear I didn't mean to. I couldn't get Scotty to shut it and stop making the ruckus. I just wanted him to shut up. I swear I didn't push too hard. But for God's sake, he was being so damn loud. It just gets worse to where a guy can't take it just gets to where a guy can't take it no more. He thought he was better than me all along. Well, he's dead now. He's staring at me. Got to tuck him away somewhere. I hear him. He's been laughing, crying, cracking jokes. He won't stop. Getting Can't get him to stop. Folks say I can fix just about anything with a screwdriver. Already fixed Scotty. Already fixed Judd. God wants us to fix folks up when they're broken. Can I fix me? Wow, that is some sinister... Sinister stuff right there. Terminal. Oh god, okay. Attempted to fix the pod terminal. I think I got it working. Sort. Backspace. Don't work. Still can't do much but make entries. On open, how do I get access to the functions? Fair to complete transmission. Path, fuck you, you ain't a goddamn radio, is invalid. Our recipient is currently offline. Database incomplete. Terminal now recognizes the pod. Pod door hydraulics can be accessed but not opened. Pod is ready to roll. Terminal works well enough but cannot erase test posts. Make this pod control. Make this pod bay open. Head into the maintenance pod. And away we go.
Okay. Um, disposal area, I guess. I have no idea. It, it may look like I know what I'm doing, but I actually have no clue. <laughs> it's just all guesswork at this point. Oh, yeesh. This ain't nice. Hive. Hive. Hardened organic growth, solidified mucus, corpses, creatures of soft organic instance. growth. Reading, I have nowhere, I've got nothing to interact with anywhere in here, so back into the maintenance pod. And we are headed for the visitor's simpson expansion. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. Loose panel. Uh, right. Let's go. Okay. A heavy loader. Looks like it was sealed in during construction. Oh, well, I. The scaffolding. Gotta find another way out. Is there no way of, um... Well, I've got, no, I've got nothing in the other one. At least I can... do stuff here. Have down loader. Scaffolding. There's got to be something. Uh... I don't see anything. Okay, there's got to be there's got to be something. Loose panel. There's nothing here to do. Loose panel. Power down loader. Plastic sheets. Keep using the scaffolding, maybe. Okay, let's let's go back. Let's see what else we can do. There's got to be something in that hive I'm missing. A transition up there. Go, go. The tower. Awesome. Maintenance and repair and solid waste disposal oh God. facility is overdue by 9,125 days. Okay, can I take the plasma car? Oh, come on, give me the plasma car. That'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. Right, loaded distribution box. What the heck is that? Power cell. What else have we got here? Anything else? No. Okay. Uh, loader inside growth. John. That's all I've got. Okay. So let's let's back out this way. 
and head to the maintenance pod. Let's run, you know, it's getting a bit creepy in here now, I might want to get out of here a little bit sharpish. Okay, let's go back to this bit. Must be able to use the plasma cutter to cut some stuff. Okay, can I use this plasma cutter on something? I should be able to cut the um Should be able to cut the scaffold. No. Plasma cutter. It's a retinal. Okay. So I need an eyeball. Um. Okay. I don't even know. Okay, maybe I missed something in the first room. Let's see if there's anything I can do up here now. It's a very long journey. Very, very long indeed. Okay. Okay. Ah, wait, we've got one of those um, power, power pod things. Power plates. One of these. Portable energy source for engineers and mechanics. So, okay. So now I should be able to use power the plasma cup, the refrigerator. Oh wait, there we go. Oh. Okay. Let's go to what's the dude? Did you kick someone's head up? Oh well, that's there's there's the eye, mate. I thought you were just gonna like search it for something, not kick his head in. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, is this Scott Tanaka? Jared would make for a useful business partner. Partner. Oh wait, this is Scott. Ah, oh, it's the body he hid. Ah, oh, that makes sense now. Jared would make for a useful business partner, but I can't even suggest it without him erupting into a fit of rage and beginning to rant that that ain't how it's done in my family. Does the man honestly expect to get anywhere without once taking help from those more intelligent than he is? The Groom Lake has been a pleasure to be aboard thus far, much more entertaining than being on Earth. Even my family's private island isn't this entertaining. Granted, there isn't much left to do now that all the indigenous animals have been hunted and killed. Space, however, is infinite. I feel as though planning an April Fool's joke almost two weeks in advance is a little pathetic, especially when the plan consists of a single prank, pouring water on Jared. I poured water on him, just a little glass, and the consequence? The hulking dimwit chased me down the corridor with a wrench, slicing a reasonable portion of my forehead open. I am now thoroughly convinced that he is deranged and will be doing some investigation. After agreeing to transfer a sum of money, I convinced Dr. Graham to open Jared's medical records for me. Jared really is mentally ill. He suffers from outbursts of, rage, outbursts of rage. According to one report, he murdered his brother by crushing him to death with the car. It goes on to note that Jared believes it to be the will of the Lord, capitalised just like that. How in the hell did he manage to get a position in the most important area of the ship? I'll have to stay on his good side. I'm beginning to miss my father's mansion more with each passing day. Having maids and chefs to cater to me is how I was raised. To be responsible for cleaning up after myself and walking all the way to the mess hall for food remains a challenge. He's a spoiled brat. Sometimes I question my own sanity. I briefly criticise Jared's hobby of repairing that old transport pod and oh, the daggered stare he gave me in return. What did I, th what did I think it I could possibly accomplish by talking to him about it? Unbelievable. He burned my thesaurus. Jared marched towards me, ripped it from my hands and set it on fire. Then he screamed, April Fools! and sprinted away, waving the burning pages above his head. I can't begin to say how many times I've retyped my entries. They feel not as good. That's a better word, I swear it. I would kill to get my thesaurus back. How can anyone respect me if I don't sound smart? I give up. 
I ran into Dr. Graham today and he remarked that I sounded like less of a pretentious asshole. Guess I should just talk like an ordinary person from now on. Oh hey, ordinary is a pretty big word. My arms hurt. It was hard work to get all of that fungus out of the generators. We did it though. Cleaning is not easy. I feel a sense of accomplishment. I guess Jared isn't all bad. He apologised to me today for losing his temper so often. And you know what? I apologised in return. I don't remember the last time I did that. Holy shit. It turns out the guy had a bunch of rations tucked away. He shared them with me, even though he's almost out. If I don't starve to death here, I may have to put him in charge of Tanaka Investments Charity, which doesn't exist. Yet. Rations are here. We have just enough food in the freezer to last us. We're far less hungry than the guys manning the twins. I have to say I'm impressed. Not sure how those guys have had the energy to keep us afloat with so little to eat. Those guys are titans. Engineering is now on total lockdown. We have to keep whatever those things are away from the generators. I don't think that we'll ever see the light of day again. At least when I die, it'll be with the only real friend I ever had. Oh man, that's... I like these little things. These these things that they do make it... They add this kind of extra layer of depth into the whole situation. All the stories and all the little um, logs and PDTs and stuff that you read. They are literally all intertwined and they all kind of work together. It's awesome. It's really good how he's managed to do all this. You really are a roach, Mr. Maracek. Standing on a power plate. Shoot him. Kill him now. You ass. I may have pulled the trigger, so to speak. But you and Miss Hensley loaded the gun. I kind of wish I'd saved now. Monster? By whose standards do you call me a monster? My own. The 